do you want to remove a background from an image? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to remove a background using Silhouette Studio. There are tons of reasons that you may want to remove a background and save it. I'm going to show you how. Let's go over to our desktop scene. And now that we are here in our desktop scene, just going to center this. And let's just go ahead here. Okay, so I have this image here and I want to get rid of all of this white space around it. And I want to be able to save this as a transparent image so I can use it and do other things with it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we have this image and in Silhouette Studio, we have this thing that looks like a piece of, a piece of bread. It's the trace panel. We're going to open up our trace panel and we are going to select whatever image that we need to trace. I'm going to select this image and we're just going to push up. Here you have a threshold. And so this threshold, anything that's yellow, you will be able to trace. Um, we want to trace around the outside of this image. Silhouette has the ability to do a full complete trace to trace everything or you can just trace the outer edge. In this instance, we're only going to trace the outer edge. So we're not worried about the eyes and the uh, end of her jacket. So we're going to hit trace outer edge. And now we've traced the outer edge. We have a outline here. We're going to go back and just hit our back button so that that is back aligned. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to our panel and we're going to look for a square and a circle that's kind of overlapping each other. That is going to be your modify panel. Click on the modify panel and you will get open. Uh, you will you will open. I'm sorry, y'all. I must be tired. Click on the modify panel. And we're going to crop this image. Now, if I just hit crop, nothing's going to happen. So what I have to do in order to make this work, and let's just move that over a little bit. What I have to do in order to make this work is take my mouse, select the trace and the image that I want to crop. And I'm going to hit crop. Now I have successfully crop that image. And now if I want to save this image, I can save it. Let's add some text onto it. We're just going to type you go girl. And let's go ahead and make that bold because we're going to save this as a transparent image. I'm needing to make some emojis for my YouTube channel and so this is going to be one of them. And that's it. So now if I wanted to cut this, I'm going to show you something real quick. If I wanted to cut this out, I still would not have that trace around this image and I would have to go back in and do another trace. So all you do is just select it and trace it as we did before. And then you would have the outline so that when you went to print, you would have that, you would have the ability to do the printing cut, but that's not what this video is about. So now that we have this, um, and I don't even have to select it. We're going to go here to file. And we're going to go um, and we're going to save this to our hard drive or wherever you want to save it. And because we want to save this as a PNG, we're going to click PNG. And I'll just type in um, something. We'll type in you go girl. And then we'll hit OK. Once I hit OK, it's going to ask me 
some questions here and I leave all of that stuff alone and I just hit transparent background and I'm going to click that and there we go so now if I go over to that file that has this in it I should find go girl as a PNG image and be able to bring that in and there you have it I now have this little go girl now y'all this is not a true PNG file because as you raise it up you will it does get pixelated but this will get the job done for you if you like this video make sure that you and I've got something here for y'all wait a minute because I'm still learning this stuff So, oh, if you like the video make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm live and I'll see you guys in the next or you girls in the next video